the beginning part of this is for off-roading machine. Uh, we made a couple of suggestions about fire hazard. I had a piece of paper back here, which he was right. Shouldn't have it there. Now, if you notice, I did move it. The only thing I didn't move is a plastic bag. My wife put it there. I'd rather take the chance of that plastic bag catching on fire than my wife being mad with me. So, but anyway, I do appreciate the comment. But anyhow, this is a, a Smith torch. This is a, a heavy duty torch. Um, and the number is SW1. These Smith, Victor, and Harris. Seem like the Chevy, Ford, and uh, Chrysler. Chevy, Ford, Chrysler. Yeah, Chevy, Ford, and Dodge of torches. And the the torch head itself is uh, SC two hundred nine. I'll put this all down, all the numbers down. There is some engraving on it. I can. This this come from a shop that closed up and they auctioned it off. And, uh, they had a bunch of different uh, torches and that for sale, I guess. But uh, there is some engraving on it. No names. It's kept like a name for a shop says 3G diecast, whatever that is. Uh, E.G. main shaft or main shed. Must have been where they kept it. But anyway, they're not stolen or nothing. They're they were bought from a business, legitimate. So you don't have to worry about that because that's something you do have to worry about all the time with almost anything you buy anymore. But everything should be good. I did already test it for leaks. I had to redo the valves a little bit, but they're fine now. Um, they weren't shutting off quite the whole way. But, uh, I got a little bit of soapy water right there. And that's how I test them. Soapy water is the best way to test anything. Um, just water alone doesn't do it. You have to, a little bit of soap in there tells it that the minutest leak it will show up. But anyhow, let's, let's give this a try. Oh, yeah. Don't cuff the torch. You know, that's something I do remember from when... And back in high school yet, they told us not to do it, and I, that just never come to my mind until you mentioned it. Thank you again, Off-Roader. Sorry if I didn't use your name right. Again, shut your acetylene off first. A lot of guys disagree about that, but I think it, it means a lot. It doesn't backfire. And it keeps it from everything carboning up if you shut your acetylene off first. Well, everything looks good. There's no leaks. It's a good torch. I'll try to use a, a welding uh, end on it, welding brazing end. These smiths are a little bit harder to take apart than most. They have these couple O-rings on. This one has three O-rings, a cutting head. And if uh, you put the wrong size over, these O-rings they'll wear out. If you put the wrong size on, it's a little too thick. They're hard to get together. You've got to put the right size O-ring on it. Let me get a cutting head and see how that works. Or I should say a walling head. And this one I didn't clean up yet. This is a big head. This is a big welding head. I've never seen one quite that big. I don't know what the heck that's. This is some heavy duty welding here. Again, I put new seals on the nose torches uh, pieces. And also, these these can screw out of here, out of this little mixer. 
and you can change them. And I've heard different guys say you can't do it. I don't know where they get that from because they screw right out. It's just it's probably the heaviest thread there is uh, among the torches. That is. There, that's almost a heating tip. Man, it, you put a nice down. That'll weld some heavy metal. It'd probably weld three quarters steel with that. I don't know. I don't know what the specs up with it. It's a it says a LW one oh nine. Yeah, LW one oh nine. Does a nice job.